Hey folks, it's John P with Geek Me TV, and today we're gonna take a look at how to put an elliptical machine on a bike, and we're not even in the circus yet. Okay, so we're out here in Richardson, Texas at the Richardson Bike Mart. Our friends there were kind enough to let us come and take a ride on the new Elliptigos. This is a bike, it's an elliptical machine, it's both, all in one. So as you can see, what they've done is they've cleverly replaced the seat and pedals with a pedestal that has elliptical feet built right into it. And you can see it's got a really smooth action. So it's got some nice rollers in here and everything is made, all of this componentry is made out of aluminum. And one thing I'd like to tell you before we even get started, these things are expensive, okay? What we're looking at is the eight speed model. There are three different variants. We've got an eight speed, we've got a three speed like this black one, and then there's also an 11 speed. And there are only a few differences. One is the grade of the components that are gonna be attached to it. So for example, the eight speed uses these Shimano shifters. Um, the way they work is uh, you've got a trigger finger here for shifting down and a thumb for shifting up and you can watch as that pops up and down and so that comes back here and drives the chains on the rear where the three speed model uses some stumpy archer uh, components you can see there's only three speed and it has two buttons that are both thumb activated so we push one to shift down and one to shift up now the 11 speed also uses a shimano type of shifter uh, they also have just normal kind of caliper type brakes i think i'd prefer having disc brakes a lot of the newer uh, bikes have disc brakes on them now although you don't really need it for this you're not gonna be going downhill or anything i just kind of like the security of knowing there's all that extra stopping power still i've already ridden these they stop on a dime there's no problem with the shifting i mean with the braking now one other difference on the 11 speed model is this whole rear assembly this arm and the foot pad here are all made of carbon fiber okay now there's also there's also a few adjustment points that you can make on these elliptigos one is the length of the stride i'm pretty tall i got long legs so i want to be able to move back and forth as much as i can and what they do is they've got these different mounting points here so we can shorten up the stride or in my case have it as long as we want another adjustment point is the height of the handlebars it's a simple flick open of this mechanism and then up and down with the post and you adjust it for your height so it's all set up for me now and uh oh the last little thing i'd like to point out is the quality of the construction like i said it's all aluminum it's relatively light it's got a little grab here handle and you just pick it up like this you can see i'd say it's it's somewhere in the 25 to 30 pound range on this model i imagine the carbon fiber one shaves off a couple pounds but if we take a look at the construction i just want you to notice these welds i know it's a funny thing to look at but this particular bike is about twenty four hundred dollars you don't want to spend that unless you're investing in some quality and if you look these are aluminum welds i mean these are professionally done every single weld i've inspected on this uh, bike is just really very very clean and you guys know I'm a qualified welder so I'm telling you this is this is a piece of quality construction all right so let's take it for a ride all right so I'm using the shifter and uh, I'd say the action is pretty smooth one thumb thumb to go up here I'm an eighth now that's about as fast as I can go let's see how we can get going here If I had to guess, I'd say I'm probably going a little less than 20 miles an hour, maybe 18. I'm sure on the 11 speed, I could get going a little bit quicker. But really, this isn't about speed. This is about getting a workout. You may be able to hear I'm breathing a little heavy. First of all, it's 104 degrees out here in Dallas. But I definitely feel it in my legs. I like that the handlebars have the ends where I can put my handle where I can put my hands nice and wide or I can grab the grips on the front. And although you might think this would be kind of hard to get your balance on, it only took me uh, like maybe 10 seconds to get going. It really is not bad at all. It's got a very low center of gravity. 
I think it would best be used on straight lines for endurance training, for things like runners. If you're gonna take it slow, you're just gonna stand there and glide a little bit like this. It does have a relatively low ground clearance, but it goes over bumps in the pavement just fine. And one thing that I'd have to say is, every single person that's gone by has stopped to take a look at what we're doing out here on this elliptico. So, it's probably a good uh, piece of equipment if you're looking to do some training, especially for runners who want to take it easy on the joints. Overall, I give it a thumbs up. So head on over to elliptico.com and check them out. All right, guys, stay tuned for more at geekbeat.tv and on youtube.com forward slash geekbeat.tv. Out of here. <laughs> oh my God. It's gonna be okay. Jeff. Oh my God. It's gonna oh. be okay. Why'd I get this job? This is Callie's job. Oh my God. It's gonna be okay. Oh.